So thank you for agreeing to come and have a chat with me, Jackie. No worries. Ah, so tell me a little bit about, if you can cast your mind back, what was going on for you? How are you feeling? What are you experiencing in, in life, in business before stepping into mesmerizing? Um, I think I've always been a bit of a, well, I, I would call myself a searcher. I've been someone who has searched and searched for kind of like the thing that makes it sort of all seem very, very clear. And um, I'd found this like weird old path, which was a beautiful one, but kind of like via my website designer, then to one of many, then to, and then I saw you speak. And I think you were doing so, some kind of, um, it was about kind of finding our voice or finding our world voice or something. And I think you were on a one of many podcasts. And so I, um, I, I thought I wanted a coach, a normal coach to help me move forward with my business. Cause I was quite, I was becoming clear on what I wanted to do. I got a coach and then went, that's not what I want. And then, um, and then I went, it's gotta be a business coach. That's what I need. So I went off and did that. That didn't seem right either. And then I came to you um, having sort of seen you speak and thought there was some resonance there and thought um, I'm gonna I, I'm, I'm gonna um, talk to this lady because she seems like someone that, that that could help and I and I don't know if you remember but I made the assumption that it was this one-to-one -one thing um, and um, and uh, mm -hmm. didn't realize it was a container that was a group container and I suppose um, and I will go on I'm sure you'll ask me more about that but that actually has been the biggest blessing that I've ever had to be in a group um, because I think I thought I think as I because I'm quite used to doing things by myself and thinking that one-to-ones are the way forward I think I was in the, the, the mindset of the only way I can do this is if someone coaches me not realizing mm. that actually there's this beautiful kind of learning and deepening when you're in a group process and so so for me um, yeah I was in a place of thinking that it was all about me um, and uh, that's probably been my biggest realization that it was nothing to do with me. So my business was in a place of feeling like it needed kind of like some proper nurturing um, and, and figuring out what it needed to look like and actually um, stumbling across Mesmerize and um, realizing that that's not what it needed at all. Oh, Jackie, I love hearing that so much. It's, I love doing these videos because I get to find like what really happened. <laughs> and tell me more about your experience of the group and why for you it feels so powerful and like the biggest blessing. um I think it's I think it's sort of like you know that we forget about the the um one of the things I've learned over the last few years is that um when I get out of my own way that's where magic happens and so when I'm focused on what I need to do, rather than kind of like not being able to see what the mirror then gives me, you know, like when I'm in, like not listening to the messages that are all around all of the time, um, there's such value in that. And so I, there, there was so many things that came up, um, which were uh, right at the beginning, I was really um, noticing my behavior, but noticing kind of like some patterns around kind of like, it should look like this, if I'm spending this much money, it needs to look like this. Um, why am I not being responded to in, 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 in moments when I send an email? Why, is, why am I not getting a response? Because that much money should mean this. You know, there was so much coming up for me around kind of, and it was all like, when I think back, it was all so me, 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 right? There was so much me involved in it. And I remember like, I think it was our second conversation and you just saying, um, if you've got um, the idea that it's um, a one-to-one -one, then um, we're actually going to work in a group and I was thinking I don't want to go in a group I need personal uh, help and um, what the group has done for me is just one on everything that we've done you know from like the very beginning through to story school every single thing is about connecting to other humans other highly sensitive beautiful souls who are going through exactly what I am going through can mirror back the beauty of all I am and I can see all they are 
Um, and there's just such power in that to take steps forward in kind of like what, what it is that, what it is that we're all here to do. Because the, the wonderful thing in a group that I'd never appreciated before, especially in a group like this is, that even though ultimately all we are ever doing is showing people, is, 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 us, is helping people to return back to themselves, that's all any of us are ever doing, right? Every single one of us has this like magical, beautiful essence that is so different to the next one like I don't even I've never seen that before and I know that's on every self-help book that's in every like you've got your essence what should it be in the world you know you can't see it when you're working on a one-to-one you can't see it when you're journaling but you can see it when you're in a group because you're all saying the same thing but in a completely different way and that's why your client is right for you and not right for x or y and you can only see that when you're in a group environment and i never saw it before oh i love that that's what you've seen it's so powerful yeah that is what i love so much about group work mm. yes amazing amazing and in terms of your magical essence jackie and your uniqueness and your unique voice What's shifted for you as a result of, of seeing that so clearly that everyone has it and then knowing and trusting your own? Well, I think I, I really need to say um, that um, the thing that, um, I may seem that I feel quite tearful as I say it, and I just want to acknowledge the fact that, um, that the work that you have done, not just for me, but for us as a group has been, it blows my mind how you do it. And I, I'm so I, I'm tearful when I say that. So I'm very, very grateful to you to be able to find this part in me and to see it reflected in everybody else. So mm. from a um, me perspective, I kind of like, um, I think that's what I, there was a session yesterday, which obviously we were both in and I was quite, um, I, I got quite emotional. As you can see, it happens quite a lot. <laughs> and uh, um, and uh, it's just, it's actually starting to really know and embody the parts of me that I've abandoned. So the parts of me that um, like have been pushed to the side because they felt too big or too much or too bright or too um, star-like or too um, beautiful or magnificent, I've pushed them all away. And I feel like there's a, the, the tears are around a reclaiming of that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and that's why I thank you because I, um, I know that it's me because we're all just facilitating people remembering that about themselves when we do our work. But um, I think that's where the resonance came from when I heard you speak, because I've called you a witch before and I absolutely know that's what you are. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jackie, it's such a delicious experience to get to witness you reclaiming your, your brilliance, your magnificence, your magic, your stardom. Thank you. Thank and you. I know that you are an amazing storyteller and speaker. Would you share with us your, your revelation in the car around your story? Well, I, um, I, I, had a, um, I, I haven't been able to attend story school the way I wanted to, which was to give it the commitment over the five weeks because there's been so many things in my diary. And I was like, oh, OK, so you have to take that away and now sit for five weeks and do every exercise that um, Kate has asked you to do and do it properly. And, and as I say that, there's a beautiful pattern that I'm noticing, which is this kind of like perfectionist, you know, like it's got to be done right, if not, it's not done at all kind of thing. Um, and actually the moments that I've dipped into it, I've written um, two stories, I think. The second one was actually one that I shared at a retreat that I ran a couple of weeks ago and I had no idea that I was going to share it, though I'll share it in a public domain. And in the car today, realised when I was going, I can't be at the story show tomorrow, 
was a um, was just the realization that actually my work is about simplicity and my work is about helping people remember um, that truly everything they need inside, especially when everything looks like it's in crisis. And I specifically work with mums with children that are in crisis. And so everything looks like it's chaotic and in crisis. And just the story that I'd written was about the remembering of our bodies in birth to bring them back to, um, that, that there's wisdom in our bodies. And actually, so the piece is written. So actually I just need to sort of top and tail it and just, and just, and just share it so that it resonates with the mums that I, that I work with. So I've already done the work, which I didn't even notice, but I've done it already, so. I love that you realise that I've done it and my thing is simplicity and oh this is it. Yeah. I'm so proud I'm so proud that I wrote something that even when I went round and my, my poor 13 year old son was going you're gonna read me a story about childbirth. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> and, I, and I read it to him and he went so, okay I suppose. <laughs> amazing but it's yeah, okay it I suppose is a great response from a, teenager. from a 13 year old and my daughter <laughs> which I absolutely love because she's brilliant she writes beautifully mm. and I sat down in the room and she went did you write that mm. <laughs> yes, oh, but I did not know you could write that and I went no but did I <laughs> oh oh my heart I love it I love it I love it no idea. Wow. So, so we've talked about the storytelling aspect of it, the voice, the magic seeing, the, the group. We also have, as part of Mesmerise, don't we, we have our wonderful Louise Miller. Oh, yes. Yeah. Productivity mentor or mm. more, in better, in more mesmerising yeah. language, our making the magic happen person. It's through your tears. <laughs> Is there anything? I'm stop crying. I'm stop crying. I'm just drying them. Yeah. Sure. You know I love them. <laughs> I love the tears. Um, yeah. Is there anything you would like to say about what it's like to to get access to Louise's special brand of magic? Well, put it this way, right? The the tears that I shared, and I do say like I cry a lot. I don't don't think I do, but I, I did cry yesterday too. But the um, the tears that I um, uh, cried yesterday were um about overwhelm and about having too much in my diary as well as um kind of like this kind of pattern that i noticed but what's really interesting about that is the overwhelm came on the month i didn't do louise <laughs> so, like, i didn't attend louise's session last week or the week before whatever it was and um i was really conscious that i needed to attend um uh, louise's session so that for me says everything because it was um, because I, I noticed that when I communicate what's on my to do list, mm -hmm. which I've done this week now, I've, it's all settled. All of the overwhelm is completely settled, as it always does. Yeah. But what Louise does so beautifully is lead us to a process where we literally are not just thinking about the thing that we have to do in a moment, but because we have this overriding bird's eye view on everything that I find really helpful. So, um, and it's been really interesting because I, I, as I've just said, I can't necessarily do it by myself. <laughs> uh, it's really helpful to be in a group of women. To, and, and that's what I would say to anyone who's thinking of going on Mesmerise or joining Mesmerise. Um, of course, look at the, the recording if you can't get to it. But if you can get to as many of the live ones as possible, that there's so much as we know the lives are always so much more powerful than the recording but you get the recording of Louise and you can do it that way I just haven't had time to do it this month so yeah is there anything else you would say to someone who is maybe on the fence around mesmerize maybe like you were thinking I need one-to-one -one, or waiting for it to be the right time what might you say um I'd say For me, the money felt like a really big deal. Um, and I would say that it's worth every penny. And I would also say that it's um, the other thing that, um, that I wasn't that clear on when I first started, but it's really important to mention is how 
when you notice or when we say that there's a gap in knowledge you'll go off and create something for us mm. so that we've had additional days we've had a day on money and selling and we've had a day on and they weren't originally in the calendar so mm. it's sort of like that it becomes it's sort of it's not kind of like whatever they're whatever it is that um they're buying now is there'll be more there'll be like bonus sessions they'll be like oh I just really need some help with x and you'll go off and you'll come back and go well should we do that as a group should we do that as this should we do that and so it becomes this kind of I don't know this kind of beautiful it's alive mm. it, it's it's not it's not uh it's not a um it's not there's the calendar that's how it works and you're only available between that that's not how it works at all it's mm. a, it mesmerizes is, is it has um a heart of its own and if and if we and if we say can we try this then we do this and that's beautiful that's that's a very different way of working yeah oh thank you Jackie for, for noticing and, and acknowledging and sharing that yeah that's really important to me that what is there is of service and and I know also that that's how I work best is in mm. response like okay someone's asked for something and now I get to feel it sort of conjuring itself inside of me and now it's going to be alive as mm. a teaching instead of I feel like teaching you this today mm. Mm. It's, it's, it's not about you it's about us mm. and that's really kind of um do you know what I've also been really impressed with which sounds like a strange thing to be impressed about but also I there was um there was um a um there's been a few sessions when um, we've we've all needed to speak and we've got a rigid time scale in the kind of like, this is going to go on to 11.30. And um, I've been really impressed with the way you hold time as well. Like, just like, I would be going, you need to, like, in my head, the energy would be, you need to shut up now because I've got to move on to this person because I've only got up to 11.30. But I'm always just really impressed that you're like, well, we're going to run over. And um, is everyone okay with that? And those that are, go. And those that are, stay. And I know that's so small, but it's also just being really kind of, I don't know, accepting that kind of flow and life and uh, energy happens in the way that it's meant to. So there's, yeah, so when I say it's got life, it's got life in, in, in every way, which is, which is great. So. Oh, thank you, Jackie, so much. I mean, that's amazing to to hear your experience is there any final thing you would want to to share or express about your journey so far in mesmery um just i'm already thinking about how i'm gonna um continue next year <laughs> i'm gonna keep justifying <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep justifying spending it. I'm like, okay, I'm doing it for a year. No, I'm gonna do it again. So um I, I think that's sort of kind of the, the best reference testimony you can give something is that you don't want to go. I don't want to leave it because um and that every single person who drops in, who, who who then joins us is just like again really magical too. So we get like these people and it's like, and a little bit of you goes, well, now we've got some more people joining, and then they join and you go, oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so more cool. magic people yeah yeah it definitely so attracts very magical beings so thank you for being Thanks, one Kate. of them thank you Kate. lots it. of love jackie no worries oh